uh, 11th of September and today we're looking at the elder tree. Okay, well this is an elder tree here and you can see it's got these these leaves that have uh, five, five leaflets on each leaf stalk. They may vary from three to seven leaflets, but usually there's five. And uh, the bark is uh, quite furrowed for a young tree and, and quite soft. The white flowers appear in the early summer, and by late summer they've become the familiar dark berries. And uh, unfortunately, these these elder trees are suffering a bit with a, a dieback disease. So I'm, I'm trying to find some with some berries still on them. See what I can do. Okay, I've got a slightly more um, healthy-looking tree. I mean, you can see it's still it's still not doing too great, but I'm hopefully it'll be all right again next year. Now, uh, elder trees have a lot of. Um, magical associations they are believed to harbour witches and contain evil spirits and this probably goes back to um, Christianity demonising pagan religions they've got a really old history of uh, pagan religious associations um, too many to go into really but um, for instance in uh, Old English and Danish I think they were called um, Hilda Muir, which means um, mother, elder, and there's a kind of demi-goddess that was the goddess of elder trees. Uh, now the only really edible parts of elder are the uh, flowers and the berries, um, the leaves and stems, even the stems on the, the berries and flowers are slightly toxic and um, they, they contain cyogenic glucosides and um, a chemical called sambunigrin and um, when these are in the body enzymes react with them and um, release uh, hydrogen cyanide so um, they are a bit toxic and uh, I'm sure you're aware you can make wine out of the flowers and the berries um, yeah, quite often you don't even need yeast because they've usually got quite a lot of natural yeast flush. Now the wood of elder, it's quite lightweight and it's quite strong and it's got various uses, but um, it used to be known as uh, pipe wood because I don't know if you can see there, it's hollow inside or there's usually pith in there, which incidentally you can use as a candle wick if you can get it out in one piece. And um, yeah, if you're into your bushcraft and stuff like that, then this makes a really good base for um, a hearth base if you're using the drill and bow method of um, fire lighting. Now, uh, as I said, um, human history with elder goes back quite a long way and there's a lot of medicinal uses claimed for, for elder, um, mostly using the flowers and the berries. and. Um, sometimes the bark <coughs> as well um, but uh, yeah there has been a, actually been a scientific study done on the berries and found that they uh, they um, aid recovery from the flu quite significantly so, so um, there you go and uh, there is one thing I've never tried with um, with elderberries um, you can use the juice well for a start it makes quite a good dye it's quite it's quite a stable dye that doesn't wash out too easily but um yeah you can also use the, use them to make litmus paper um which i might give a go um get some acid free paper usually sketch pad papers acid free and uh, soak it in the juice and uh, see if it works so i'm going to take these and give that a go Okay, so I've got my uh, homemade litmus papers here and uh, a glass with bicarbonate of soda and water in it and a glass with some vinegar in it. Um, I, try, I had a go to see what would happen 
with one of these uh, yesterday and um, it's dried out and you can see it's the change of colour is still apparent but um, it's much more apparent when it's wet so I'll, I'll show you what happens. Okay, bicarbonate of soda first. Um, Okay, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of starting to to take on a, a greenish tinge in the bicarbonate of soda. Um, give it a go in the vinegar, see what happens. And uh, yeah, you can see that's that's gone much more red. So yeah, it does actually work, there you go. There you have it, the uh, the elder tree, a nice understory plant in, in most woodlands in the UK. And as you can see, I don't, well, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's, there are loads of berries up there. Mm -hmm.